Hi everyone and welcome back to the zombies. The second mission in tier 4 of act 3, the spring cleaning, requires you to clear an infested stronghold in the high threat zone. For me, this felt like the scariest solo mission in the whole roster, so I'm quite happy that there is a reasonably easy way to complete it. Those of you who have seen some of my other guides may know already where this is going, and you'll be correct, RGL is the answer. But while the blue RGL at punch level 2 was sufficient for most, if not all of the earlier missions, we'll have to up the game a notch for the spring cleaning. So your prep set consists of the RGL at purple rarity. If you have a tool in the stash or can craft one, bring it with. If not, you'll have to find one in the round by doing contracts or looting around. It is essential this time. PhD flopper and speed caller perks. Both are absolutely critical for your survival. PhD more so, but the speed caller is not far beyond. Pack a punch 3 on your RGL. Again, absolutely necessary this time, as anything lower than that will just not generate enough damage output, especially against heavily armored zombies and mimics. A gas mask, preferably a durable one. That's your basic shopping list. On top of that, having more perks, especially Juggernaut and Quick Revive, is very useful. Brainrot ammo for your RGL is great, and having a dog with you helps a lot too. The dog doesn't have to be tier 3 one, tier 2 will also do. Tier 1 though won't survive long enough to be of any real use. Once you finish the prep, look at the map and find yourself an infested stronghold in the red. If you're lucky, there'll be one on the east side of the island in G4 quadrant. If it's there, your task just became infinitely easier. Reason for that is simple, there is a zipline going directly to this building from a house in the medium threat zone, so your strategy turns into a simple bunny hopping. Take the zip, shoot your RGL inside and immediately zip back. Observe all the zombies and mimics aggro at you and start running along the river to the nearest bridge. Then zip into the stronghold again. While all of them are turning around, you can unload a full clip or two from your RGO inside the stronghold and zip out again. Two or three of such travels and you are all sorted. If you are not that lucky, don't worry, it's all fine. Make your way to the stronghold located at the bottom of E4 and F4 quadrants. As far as I can tell, this one is always there. Use a car or parachute there, whatever is available to you. Just make sure not to bring an aggro mega abomination with you. If one starts following you, drive away, take a large detour to lose him and come back. Once at the stronghold, peek in and shoot a few grenades inside, hitting some cysts. This will cause a wave of zombies to spawn and push you. Back out into the open air so that your mask is not wasted and clear the attacking wave. If mimics are in the crowd, drop an energy mine in addition to your RGL. It does absolutely crazy damage to mimics. Face your shots so you don't unload the whole magazine at once. You want to knock zombies down, give others a chance to close in and then finish them off. Basically, use and abuse your splash damage here. Pay special attention to the crawlers. Their electrical attack can take you down in no time, so don't let them come close. When the initial wave is cleared, proceed inside. Slowly and methodically proceed with clearing the building. Luckily, it's really small and tight, allowing your RGL to cause total destruction to cysts and zombies alike. Keep picking up ammo that zombies drop and replay it as necessary and you should be absolutely fine. A few minutes of work like this and congratulations, the scariest task in the whole Act 3 is complete and only one easy mission separates you from facing Zakaev. Hope this was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.